Welcome to Wisconsin's Northwestern Gateway, the city of Superior. Situated in scenic Douglas County, this destination is filled with hardworking people who take pride in their community. I'm here to explore the beauty of Superior and Douglas County and talk to the people that call this place home. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Located on the southern shore of Lake Superior, Superior is the county seat of Douglas County. The county is home to dense boreal forests, abundant lakes, and fish-filled streams, which provide exceptional opportunities for outdoor recreation in every season. Let's get started by checking out the largest freshwater lake in the world, Lake Superior. This majestic lake offers stunning natural landscapes and awe-inspiring beauty to all who visit its shores. What better way to experience this lake than by boat? Brent, you're our captain today. Tell me about the boating culture on Lake Superior. It is so cool. <laughs> it's uh, it's such a cool little community that, uh, I mean, we're all out here for the same reason, to just enjoy what all Lake Superior has to offer, what all the industry set as the backdrop. And the rule is if you see a boat, you have to wave. You have to wave, right. I don't know why, but you, you have to wait. These are friendly out here. Right. I mean, because every, because everyone's happy. I mean, everyone's you, you, there, there's no stress out here. You're just you're just driving. You're hanging out. If you're planning for a boat day, what are the essentials? Pack for everything. You've got to pack blankets and sunglasses and sunscreen and swim trunks, dogs, the the kids. Bring your friends. Bring you know, bring bring your relatives. When you go fast, what do you say? Going up. Going up. All right, going up. <laughs> we dropped anchor offshore, and it's time to stretch our legs on one of Lake Superior's sandy beaches. We're having a beach day today. We are. What does the beach day usually entail if you're coming to Superior and Douglas County? You know, there's different types of beaches. There's different types of beach activities. Uh, some you can do on your own. Others you do with family. So. Your daughter is so adorable. Thank you. How old is she? She's three and a half. And what does she love about beach days? She loves playing in the sand. Uh, I don't know if you saw a second ago, she was literally rolling in the sand. So <laughs> Yeah, and your dog yeah. got to come with yeah, Quinley, Quinley and Quinley's sister. What do the dogs love about the beach? Like getting dirty. I'm pretty sure they just love to get as dirty as possible. In general, what do you love about this area and why did you decide to stay here and raise a family here? No question I love the people, but it's, it's so beautiful. I mean, we're surrounded by beautiful, scenic beaches right now. One thing that I like to say is, is we live where people vacation. Well, I'm on vacation, so let's relax. I like it. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Speaking of relaxing, it's time to kick back with some fishing. Douglas County is home to one of the most cherished and premier trout streams in the United States. The Boyce Brule River, with its scenic beauty surrounded by towering pines and the bounty of fish in its waters, has attracted multiple presidents. And interestingly, it is one of the few rivers that flow north in the U.S. I head to the Brule River and meet up with expert guide Mac Peters to get some pointers on catching that trophy trout. Give me some of the history of this area and Brule River. What's the significance? It is just, it's a world-class trout stream. Um, it's a well-kept secret, I think, across the nation. Uh, and for those who do know what the brule is, they acknowledge that this is one of the hardest spots to catch a fish. So that challenge keeps anglers coming back. There have been some presidents that have fished on this river, right? Brant for sure and Coolidge is the most famous one. It's just one of the few places I think that really calms down my mind. So get you dialed in on casting. We're going to match the hatch, try to get as close as we can with whatever insects are hatching. Is there a certain good luck thing that you do, or a fish call, or a fish dance? Yeah, sometimes I'll tap the water and just pretend I'm a fish and uh, you know, let out a hooty hoo to let them know. But what is the hooty hoo? Hooty hoo! Hooty hoo! Big fish, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's fish. All right. Mm -hmm. 
You can do winter sports and activities throughout the entirety of Douglas County. I am at Amnacon Falls State Park with the Amnacon River flowing right underneath us. This place is stunning. It's really tucked away, perfect for a cozy camping trip. There's a snowshoeing trail. You can do some hunting, some fishing, hiking. It's a great place to bring your family. And it's a great place for me to stop as I check out Superior and the rest of Douglas County. After this, I'm gonna do some snowmobiling and check out the local hangout spot. Then we're gonna to go to a supper club and a luxurious resort. Let's go. This place is huge and stunning and cozy, but right by the fire. That's right. But for people that have never been here, what is Menacing Acres? Menacing Acres is an executive retreat. We're a large lodge with resort type amenities and we cater to one group at a time. We're right on Lake Minnesing. It's a 450 acre lake. We have our own bowling alley, beautiful restaurant that we serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Indoor pools. We have an archery range. There's an underground tunnel that I think we'll probably see later. Who just has a tunnel going from what house? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, who doesn't have a tunnel, right? And then in the basement, there's our raft cover. So cozy. We have a bit of everything. If you can't find it here, you're probably not gonna find it anywhere. As general manager, what is your favorite thing? I love the fact that when guests are here, you have people that have never talked to each other or don't talk to each other for whatever reason. They're like best pals. Like they spend the whole week together or the days here together. They're so nice. They're so down to earth. I've never been in a part of my career that you just can't wait to come to work because you work at such a cool place and you get to deal with great guests. Are you ready to lose in bowling? I am. Definitely. All right. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks for coming. Cancel all that. I know that you opened this with your wife. Yes. How did that come about? I just knew that I wanted to run a business, and ever since she was a little kid, wanted to have her own coffee shop. I was like, well, merge those two ideas together and let's just make it happen. Why do you think you were able to flourish? We've decided to go through a lot of different types of roasters around the whole region, and we cycle them in all the time. It keeps things fresh, it keeps things interesting, so keep coming in. I love that everything is local. I feel like there's just a lot of pride there. Yes, for sure. We're huge on developing Superior. It's such a beautiful area. What's your favorite thing about Wisconsin? <laughs> the culture. I love being a Wisconsinite. I, I bleed green and gold. I love every part of it. I'm with Dusty, a snowmobiler here in Douglas County. Dusty, how's it going? We just got some fresh snow, so we're all excited and happy to be out today. I hear that your favorite season is winter. Why is that? I enjoy being outside. Everything looks so pretty and it reminds me of being in a snow globe. My family, I grew up snowmobiling as well. I really enjoy it. As an adult, what's your favorite thing about going out on the sleds? Getting people together to enjoy the sport and enjoy winter. I'm ready to go. What trails are you going to take me on? I think today we're going to take you out on the Corridor Trail and Trail 27. The cool part about Trail 2 is it does pass over the Brule River. I hear we might be going to Crowbar. So what makes Crowbar special? They have great food and entertainment. What are the trails like around Crowbar? Do they get pretty busy? They do. We are in a location that everybody kind of enjoys. A destination or a starting point for a lot of people. I think one of the best kept secrets of Douglas County is the fact that our trails are amazing up here. A lot of people go to other locations, but I love being up here because the trails usually are never crowded. <laughs> I've been out and about in Douglas County and everyone was raving about Dreamland. It's an honor to be here. How would you describe Very this Very nice to hear. A good old fashioned supper club, just like what it says. You work with your wife, right? She's working right now. She's the head cook back there, <laughs> working away. What is that partnership like, running a business together? It works pretty well that we're both very committed to it makes a big difference. And we always joke, it's really good that she's back there and I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely keep to that traditional way of supper clubs, different things that come with each meal. Why was that important for you to keep? To me, that's the true supper club, like the relish tray, your first course. There's nobody but supper clubs that offers soup or tomato juice as an option. What is your favorite thing about your job? The people. Got a gentleman out right there right now that's probably been coming here for 50 years. What would you say the most rewarding thing is? Seeing it be successful. We've watched it grow and grow and we just keep beating our numbers. How many people can say they love their job after 23 years? Yeah. <laughs>
Well, right on cue, because I know you're working. Yeah. Gotta go. Gotta so thank you again. so much for eating with me. I can't believe it held off that long. <laughs> I'm noticing that the people of Superior work hard and play hard. One of the premier breweries in Superior is Earthrider Brewery. Opened in 2017, this brewery has become a popular gathering place in the community. Known for flavorful ales and a great music scene, founder Tim Nelson gives us the rundown on Earthrider Brewery. Take me back to the beginning. How and why did you start this thing? Uh, I've been in brewing since uh, the mid-90s. Um, started planning my first brewery when I was right out of school. Discovered uh, craft beer when I was in ski racing and traveling around the country, especially the western states. What makes your beer special here? Well, the big thing is the water. Uh, Lake Superior has perfect brewing water. It is uh, very neutral. And so we're at, able to add minerals and, uh, back to it to mimic where a uh, certain beer style was developed to begin with. What is your favorite thing about your job, about brewing, about the whole culture here? There is an outstanding culture of music in the Twin Ports. People really support it. My favorite part is the people. I love community. I, that is the sense of purpose that we it drives us really is um, creating a community around our beer. Time to shift gears and head out on the trail. Superior and Douglas County are home to many bike trails and provide different levels of riding from beginner to experts. You can bike along the lakefront, through forests, and to many popular landmarks. Superior is a great destination for any cyclist. I get to check it out with my new friend, Shauna Anderson. We are here with outdoor sports enthusiast, Shauna Anderson. Thanks for meeting up with me. Thanks for joining me. It's awesome. I love showing off my town. So we're going to take a little adventure. We're going to hop on our bikes. We're going to explore one of my favorite trails in the area, Bear Creek Trail. Well, I am stoked that you hooked me up with this bike. I got these big tires. This the is beast, great. <laughs> the Beast is a great bike to ride. He runs over everything. How did you first get into biking and what do you love about it? I had not really ridden as an adult. I showed up to a ladies ride on a Thursday night in January and learned about riding in the snow and riding on the ice. And I love it. I ride year round. All right, when we're done with biking, we're going to hit the water. So what's the kayaking going to look like today? The great thing about the river is there's lots of bays. You can generally find a spot that's going to be semi-protected. Lots of wildlife. I've seen beaver, eagles, bears, all kinds of stuff. Ooh. And then what do you love about kayaking, especially in this area? Just the fact that you feel like you're so far away from everything. You know, you could be paddling on the river and not see or hear anything. After all that biking and paddling, I need to refuel. Shamrock Bar and Pizza is known throughout Wisconsin for delicious, mouth-watering, homemade pizza. All right, I am here with Sandy Thompson. She's the owner of Shamrock Bar and Pizza. Give me the overview. What is this place? Started out as a haberdashery and then uh, turned into a bar and then um, turned into a pizza place. In fact, my husband and I, when we were in high school in the 50s, used to come here for pizza. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So you used to come here in high school. We did. And then full circle, now you're the owner. And now I'm the owner, yes. I think a, a fun part of our history is upon a New Year's Eve, uh, 1953, he lived in South End and he went home and made pizzas and brought them over as a bar snack. And people just fell in love with pizza and pretty soon we had a kitchen here and we we're off and running. Who stops in and has some pizza here? Everybody comes to the Shamrock and has pizza. For the kids in South End, it was kind of like one of the rites of passage where everybody's kids worked at the Shamrock and they still do. And then how often do you come in? Do you enjoy coming in? I love it here. <laughs> what do you think keeps bringing people back to Shamrock? I, oh, I, I think people love our pizza. I think, of course, that's important. But I also think that, you know, it's kind of like going home. We savor the moments and cherish the company, knowing that life's greatest joys are often found in the simple pleasures of good food, great friends, and the great outdoors. During my time here at Superior and Douglas County, I have seen stunning views and have met outstanding people. Right outside of Douglas County, you'll find a place where locals of the region love to visit, the White Winter Winery, known for crafting some of the best fruit wines and meads in the area. For people who have never heard of White Winter Winery or been here, what do you do here? Well, we specialize in making mead, which is the oldest fermented beverage in the world made from honey as the base fermentable sugar. So we not only do mead, we do hard ciders, and we also do spirit. 
How did this come about? These were two hobbies of John. He was a home brewer and a beekeeper. Beekeeping's been in my family for generations, so that's kind of where the honey connection came in. You still have bees? Uh, I do not. As I learned a long time ago, a man can only serve one queen. So uh, they had to go. This go. is the queen, not me. Yeah. Uh, oh, OK. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Your first vision was correct. OK. Talk to me about the people that live here in Douglas County. People know that they can count on us for a really high quality product, and they can count on us to support their passion, whatever that might be, whether it's you know breast cancer awareness, the animal shelters, the women's shelters. It comes to social justice issues, we try really hard to support those things. I want to know favorite thing about working with the other. We don't need to. I'm in the back. She's in the front. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how it works. Yeah. But that's the key. You have your realm, and then the realms work together. Okay. Wow. From one marvelous business to another, I stopped at one of the best bars in Superior, Gronk's Bar. Known for their famous upside-down burgers and their bottoms-up tap system, this charming bar will keep you coming back for more. So for people that don't know Gronk's, what do you all have here? Good food, I mean, fun atmosphere, music all the time. Walking around the building, there's a lot of cool nooks and crannies. I love the decor. So who does the decorating? Well, I do. It's just finding a spot to put stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of food do you have here? Burgers, beef, ribs and wings, pizza. What would you say is your favorite part? It's the people and it's the excitement. Well, we have the bottom tap, tap system, so it fills from the bottom, and there's still so many people that haven't seen that. It's fun when you can take a, the older generation and introduce them to that tap beer system, and their mouth drops open because they didn't think you could change tap beer. How does Gronks fit into the local community here? So everybody counts on each other. You gotta, you gotta coexist. Come on by. You're, you're more than welcome, and you won't be disappointed. Well, I'm excited to talk to you all about why people are moving here. Well, there's a lot of reasons. If you're looking for work, you can find work here. There's, you know, jobs from the refinery. There's engineering jobs, you know, there's healthcare, there's, you know, educational jobs. Yeah, why do you think people are coming up to Douglas County? We have a really good trail network for ATVs, snowmobiling. Douglas County offers you all of those things and it's quiet. I mean, you get outside of town and you can actually buy a piece of land and have a house and not have neighbors. So you would say that lake life here is superior. It is superior. Oh. Right? And the fishing is phenomenal. I mean, you can catch anything out there. I'm heading back outdoors to one of the most beautiful parks in the area, Patterson State Park. All right, we are at Patterson State Park. This park has the highest waterfall in Wisconsin. You are looking at Big Manitou Falls and it's 165 feet high. This park is 1,400 acres, and the Black River flows through this park. There's so much to do while you're here. You can do a lot of hiking. There's seven miles of trails. You can also do camping. And then in the winter, you can do some snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. I have truly enjoyed my time spent here in Superior and Douglas County. I have met some wonderful people and enjoyed the splendor of nature. I'll simply say, see you soon. There's so much more fun to be had in this fantastic place. Visit shop.discoverwisconsin.com and discover new ways to share the Wisconsin love.